Hey Mood Bubblers, my name is Kendall and welcome back to our channel. On today's video, we're going to be talking about how do holding deposits work. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So what is a holding deposit? Well, moving into a property can be extremely exciting, but before you do this, there are a number of different processes that one has to adhere to, such as credit and referencing checks, signing a tenancy agreement, and paying a holding deposit. Now, the holding deposit can only be paid after the rental terms have been agreed upon. The terms that need to be agreed upon before paying the holding deposit include the moving in date, the terms of the tenancy agreement, which is the AST, the tenants moving in, the amount of rent to be paid, the fixed term of the tenancy, tenancy and the rental period. Holding deposits typically amount to one week's worth of rent. So if you are paying £1,500 a month on a property, you will need to pay a holding deposit of £346 up front. Once the agent or the landlord has received the holding deposit, they will then remove the property from the market so that no one else can inquire about it. Essentially, a holding deposit is there for you to reserve your new home whilst you go through all the other renting checks that you need to do, such as your credit checks and signing your AST. Once all of that has checked out and you're ready to move into your new home, the holding deposit will then be deducted from your first month's rent. Why do I need a holding deposit? Well, as mentioned before, a holding deposit is paid in order to reserve the property and to remove it from the market. Now think about it. How many eyes do you think have seen that property? If that property has been advertised online on all agent websites, on Movebubble, if it's got video walkthroughs, there are bound to be a lot of very interested eyes, especially if it is a high quality home. So think of your holding deposit as reserving the property for you and only you, so that number one, it relieves a whole lot more stress and it's something you don't have to worry about. And number two, you can focus on passing all your other checks and then hopefully moving into your dream home. Do I have to pay a holding deposit? Well, there's no official legislation saying that you have to. And some landlords may not even ask you to. Some build to rent operators offer holding deposit free renting as well but it is a very common practice within the rental industry. However, should you refuse to pay a holding deposit, the landlord has every right to renege on the offer and give the property to someone else. So in essence, a holding deposit is there to just guarantee that you will be moving into the property if everything else goes smoothly. Will I get my holding deposit back? Well, if all goes well, you will get your holding deposit back, but there are different methods of receiving it. You will need to pay one month's rent upfront if you sign the AST and successfully move into your new home. However, the holding deposit is then deducted from that first month's rent. So instead of paying £1,500 for that first month, you will instead pay £1,154. Should anything go wrong with the rental that isn't your fault before moving in, you are entitled to your holding deposit. However, you won't get your holding deposit back if you are the one who decides against moving in. The landlord has the right to hold on to that holding deposit as common compensation for the time taken for the property that was off the market and all the checks that had to take place. Are holding deposits the same as security deposits? No, they are not. It can often be a little bit confusing. A holding deposit is put in place in order to secure the property and contributes to your first month's rent. A security deposit normally equates to five weeks worth of rent and is paid to the landlord to be put in a security deposit scheme, which is then paid back to you, hopefully, after the tenancy has ended. To conclude, a holding deposit is put in place in order to help you secure your dream home and get one step closer to where you wanna be. Don't forget, it contributes to your first month's rent. That's it from me, guys. If you wanna find out any more information on anything to do with rentals and properties and walkthrough videos, then check out Move Bubble because there's so much information on there. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.